Gotcha. Hey, girly pops. This is a balloon string, if you're wondering. I don't know if you guys follow Avery Ovard or Luca Whitaker or Aspen Ovard, but those are the people that I have seen do the little thing on Instagram where you ask people to make assumptions about you, which is very peculiar, but it got me really wondering what you guys assume about me. But I didn't want you guys to beat around the bush and be too nice. So I made it on one of these like anonymous websites. And instead, well, at first I asked you guys to give me assumptions, what you just assume about me, because you know, it's YouTube and I only show you parts of my life that I choose to show you. So it's kind of interesting to see what you fill in the gaps, you know, because I don't tell you everything. So there's some part where you just kind of have to guess. And make an opinion for yourself. And I wanted to hear that opinion. So this was very interesting, but I thought the assumptions thing was a little too basic because two people I've already seen make a video about it. So I thought we would get a little bit more What's the word? Raunchy is not the word for this. A little more aggressive. And I am basically allowing my subscribers and well, basically Instagram followers to bully me for 24 hours. So I gave you the little anonymous link. I said, you can swipe up and just say anything that you don't like about me, anything that I've done in the past that you just rubbed you the wrong way. And you guys, well, <sighs> Some of you guys were just really nice, but some of you guys did not hold back. And I also kind of wanted to know how many people wrote in who actually know me in real life and maybe had a bad experience with me or think some sort of way about me because trust me, there are a lot of people from certain places that don't like me anymore for reasons that I cannot explain. So I have a folder on my computer called bully me and I'm just gonna get bullied for 10 minutes straight. I know this is weird, but what if I told you I know you're a freak? This one made me extremely uncomfortable because it it kind of sounds like they actually know me, except they wouldn't know. So like, who are you? Eh, I'm uncomfortable. We'll start kind of vanilla and then we'll intensify. I feel like you've done gymnastics at some point. That's freaking boring, let's move on. Okay, this one is juicy. This is like an actual question. We're just all over the place right now. But this one says, have you ever had to turn a guy down because he wanted to do something sexual, but you had to explain that you're waiting until marriage? So if you've been following me long enough, you've probably gotten the gist that I am a little wannabe holy saint and I'm trying to wait till marriage to get it on <laughs> as the kids say. I actually kids do not say that at all but yes I have had to turn a guy down. He was one of the guys that I dated anyways. Moving on. You're not friends with your exes but it's on their part and not on yours. That is a great assumption. I, I love that assumption. You're really short in person. This is absolutely true. I am five maybe two. I haven't been measured but I think I'm five two now. Whenever I went to VidCon last year everyone who met me was like oh my gosh you are so small in person. So yeah yeah, if you ever meet me, just imagine me as like a 5'2", small, tiny little Asian girl. I'm very bite-sized. You're one of those girls who isn't actually quirky or whatever, but pretends to be because it gets you more views. I loved reading this one because this one is actually pretty much dead on, especially like half, or mm, I feel like the first half of 2018, I had that one video go viral. And then after that, I was like, oh shoot, um, I need to be a certain way to get views. And that certain way was something that actually annoyed me so much. And I even remember telling my friends like, oh my gosh, I have to be so annoying in videos, but like, I just have to do it because that's what they want to see. I got to a point where I realized that's actually not what you guys want to see. And I couldn't even watch my own videos and laugh. They would just make me uncomfortable because I hated the way I was trying to be because I'm actually a super positive person and I don't hate everything and really the only thing that I could actually relate to is like the social anxiety thing that's not something that I fake but you know when people make jokes about hating everyone like I I actually can't relate to that so this one is actually super true and I thought it brought up a good point because if someone is writing me that that means they can see that it's not actually who I am and I feel like especially now I feel so much more comfortable just being exactly who I am and not having to like drink 10 cans of caffeine to film a video. It's just not what I like and it's not what you guys like to see because you guys are smart and you can see through it. But also sometimes I do say things that sound like I'm trying to be relatable and then I'm like, ooh, that sounds like I'm trying to be relatable but then I actually just kind of meant what I was saying. It's a tricky line, but for the most part, that one is very true. You plan to get married young. Mm, 
tea. Probably, yeah, honestly. <laughs> Let's be real. So these are just assumptions so far. We're gonna get into the bullying, trust me. I assume that you stopped dancing because you got bored with it. I'm a dancer, by the way, and I freaking love you, and I've been growing up watching your videos since 2014. Jeez. Well, whoever you are, thank you for watching me for so long. That means so much. It's 2019 now, that's crazy. I got a lot of assumptions about why I stopped dancing, and I thought it would be an interesting topic to touch on because I used to make a lot of dance videos. If you're a new subscriber, you're probably very shocked at that because you're, you probably didn't even know that I danced, but a lot of my vlog channel and a lot of my main channel was focused around dance. And for an entire year, dance videos were actually what got the most views, which is so funny because now if I were to post one, it probably would not get as many views as my regular videos. But dance is super time consuming. And I try to remember why I just didn't like it anymore. First of all, if we just want to talk about dance in general, at the beginning of 2018, I was trying so hard to get good at ballet because I thought that I wanted to go to a dance college or go to college for dance. And the best dance programs are at the most expensive colleges. I swear they are like $65,000 a year. So by the time you get out of college, you are $200,000 in debt and the types of jobs you would be getting as a dancer would maybe pay you 20K a year. That basically means you're going to be working so hard for the rest of your life to just never get out of debt. That works for some people because they love dance that much. And for me, I started to realize that I loved dance as a hobby and I loved doing it in private. I loved renting out studios and dancing to music I loved. But I started to really resent dance classes. Okay, this kind of ties into like a social anxiety, which I've started to realize, which is really odd. Kind of sad that holds me back from enjoying dance in front of people because I feel like I cannot actually express my emotions through dance in front of people because it makes me super uncomfortable and I hate being vulnerable in front of people in that way. Talking, I can be vulnerable and like that doesn't bother me. But when it comes to dance and emotions, I just find it cringy and it like makes me just so uncomfortable. And I hated going to dance classes where people are looking at you. I don't like people looking at me. I hated when the teachers urged you to like have emotion. When I didn't want to do that, I just wanted to do cool moves and have musicality and all that stuff. So there were just like a lot of things about the dance world that didn't really make sense for me. I still love dance. I'm probably gonna get more into hip hop and things like that because that just, that stuff is so fun. And I still from time to time will rent out studios and like dance to my favorite music. But as like a serious profession or career, I would actually hate that so much. I love teaching dance. I love choreographing. If someone wanted to like pay me to choreograph a dance for them, I would love doing that. But for someone to pay me to dance in front of people, not what I want. But at the same time, I did really like performing. So it was very odd. My relationship with dance is very weird. You're stuck up IRL and just front online. If you don't understand what this means, <laughs> they're saying that I'm actually stuck up in real life or arrogant in real life. And then I just put up this front online that I'm like super humble and like, don't care about money and I just don't care about getting followers and subscribers and it's all just a front because I'm actually super arrogant in real life and you are completely right about that. Like I am probably the most stuck up person you will ever meet. I'm super arrogant. Like if you ask me about my accomplishments, I will just list them off for you. Like being humble, I don't really know what that is. So yeah, you're completely right about that. Okay, obviously I'm kidding, but that is for you to judge if you think that. I actually wonder what makes you think that, but I don't know, these are just interesting. This is why I'm doing this video. Jesus is not as big part of your life and okay, I can't read words. Jesus is not as big a part of your life anymore. Well, that has a grammar mishap, so that's why it was hard to read. This one was true for a while because school dance and YouTube was super hard to juggle. This sounds really weird, but moving out into this space genuinely makes me feel more motivated and inspired and I actually have been reading my Bible more and with traveling, it was so hard to go to church, so hard to be a part of a Bible study. So that was actually true for a long time, but especially for 2019, I noticed that I just feel way better whenever he's a priority. That's what I'm trying to do. There are actually a lot that were like, you don't know God anymore. That you copy Ava Jules on YouTube videos. Ava Jules, <laughs> I'm sorry girl, I don't know which ones I was copying, but they got me, I guess, I don't know. You care a lot about what others think even though you don't want to. This one <laughs> is a little too true for me. It was hard to read that one because it is actually so true to the point where it like interferes with my daily life. Whenever I go outside, I am overly conscious of people looking at me or people's like reactions to things. I feel like when I go outside, I am not even really experiencing it. I am just so focused on everyone else around me and their opinions of me. So translate that to my life on the internet it can be a little bit unhealthy, but I feel like it's it's not as bad on the internet. Like I don't care as much, but I definitely care way too much than I should. And that is something that I'm so excited to unlearn and stop doing that because it is very tiring. Caring so much and trying to people People please all the time and constantly changing yourself or like doing something differently just to please others. It's just very tiring and I'm gonna get with the therapy and figure it out, okay? So you're right. 
I've been following you since 2016 and I feel like you have changed a lot and not in a good way. Keep making videos. I can see you being the next big beauty guru on YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> okay. This one I thought was so funny because it was like, I've been watching you since 2016. So I'm like, oh wow, like they're so loyal. That's so nice. And then they're like, I feel like you've changed a lot, which like also could be good. Like I've changed a lot. I was literally 15 years old in 2016 and now I'm 18. So yes, hopefully I changed. So still good so far. Oh, but not in a good way, but keep making videos. You're probably gonna be the next big beauty guru. Like this one was so <laughs> confusing for me to read, but I thought it was funny, so I put it in. All right, let's get into more of the bullying. <laughs> okay, a lot of you guys were just so nice. So if you're one of those people, thank you so much. That's so freaking cute. You act really arrogant. <laughs> True, I'm literally like have the biggest head, like subscribers go straight to my head. <laughs> Wait, this is actually so funny because I was just sarcastic. This one says, I really, really love your videos, but sometimes you're a bit too sarcastic and he might not like this video because I'm being very sarcastic in this one, sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna people please this year. I'm just gonna be myself and just not care what anyone else thinks of me. You got a lot faker and more like annoying type trying too hard to be cute in videos and it's a little bit irritating. I don't get too excited for your vids anymore more, but it's okay because people change and I still respect you. You're doing great and you've come a long way from an old fan. Ooh, that one was pretty real. I don't know about the trying too hard to be cute in videos. I feel like I am the opposite of cute in videos, but I don't know, girl. These ones are so conflicting because they're like, I like you, but also I you're annoying, but also like keep doing it. You're doing great. I really love you and Ryan, but sometimes your videos can get a little dry. Ooh, I need to moisten up my videos. <laughs> don't need dry videos. That's Yikes. See, okay, this is what I was talking about. Trying to be one way to get views and then trying to people please. I could be really annoying in videos. I did do that and maybe it would get me more views or I could be myself and there would be a group of people who liked that. But then there's still gonna be that group of people who would rather me be this like really upbeat, annoying person all the time. And there's both of that on my channel. I feel like sometimes I'm really hyper and you can see that. And sometimes I'm like this where I'm literally just reading your comments. I've kind of, well, I haven't learned this completely, but I'm trying to learn that you just have to keep being yourself and like you can't please everyone and blah, blah, blah. That's just really hard to come to terms with, but I'm learning. <laughs> the fact that you put that giant plant tree thingy in that tiny little pot. Are you talking about this plant? You're probably right, but it's really cute. So I don't really care. This one says, stop ruining your records, girly. Am I treating them wrong? I don't know what to do. See, this is what I'm talking about. You act kind of annoying in a lot of your videos and try to overcompensate for the lack of energy. Stop it. This is what I'm talking about. Some people want me to be that energetic and some people like this person doesn't want me to be. So this video, they're probably gonna like a little bit better because I'm like not being that crazy, I don't think. But you never really know. You just can't please everyone. And that is what we are learning in 2019, folks. How quickly you lost your interest in pursuing higher education. College broadens your worldview and understanding so much. And while it isn't always necessary, it is always valuable. YouTube doesn't last forever. This one, I actually agree with. I don't agree that I don't pursue higher education because I have a goal of reading at least a book a month and I read. I try to really keep myself educated. I think I actually screenshotted one that's on my phone and it says something about like, please don't become one of those YouTubers who has a vocabulary of three words and just get super stupid. I am very aware of that and people who just use internet slang for their jokes kind of annoys me. Okay, this is getting controversial. But I am constantly trying to get smarter and I actually value education so much, which is why I'm confident enough that I will always be educating myself, despite if it's a class that is mandatory to go to. I am the type of person that will get on myself to educate myself, if that makes sense. So I know that college is like straight four years, you're only focusing on this one thing and educating yourself. So it is a little bit different because I'm already working, but you're right, YouTube doesn't last forever. But I think college is gonna be there a lot longer so might as well pursue the thing that's there right now, right? I don't know, something to think about. Whenever I talk about stuff like this, I don't want to come off as condescending because I totally understand where, where this person is coming from. And I think that education does matter so much. So I understand the concern, but I agree with you. I value education just as much. And just because I don't want to go to college does not mean that I just don't care about education. I am constantly trying to improve in myself. And speaking of which, this isn't necessarily education, but it is self-improvement. I recommended the books Love Does and Everybody Always a lot in my vlogs, or I think in my books, or in my videos. And sometimes I'll see on Twitter that you guys bought those books and are reading them, which is actually crazy to me. Like I know I say things in videos, but I don't realize that it actually affects you as a person watching this. So whenever I see you guys reading something that I recommended, it actually, I don't know, that's such a good feeling because I love those books and I feel like they were life-changing. So for me to like maybe feel like I might have an impact is pretty cool. You're really a clone, bro. 
Literally, how did you know that? You want to be hippie, but it's too difficult. This one really hit home. <laughs> Actually, this is a funny one. I go so back and forth of what I want my style to be. Sometimes I'm like, dang, really wish I could be like super hippie, super vintage, all that stuff. And then sometimes I want to be super basic and like dress up in these girly frilly things. I really go through phases and I feel like you guys watch that happen. And some of you guys perceive it as like, I'm changing. And maybe some of you guys are like, Haley's just having a phase this month where she wants to be really girly. Like right Right now I'm super obsessed with makeup and I'm wearing lipstick. Maybe it's a phase. Maybe this will be like this for the next 10 years. Who knows guys? Being subscribed to me is really just a journey. <laughs> I don't like how family friendly you are, but I get it. YouTube is a D word. This one's actually kind of funny. I didn't really want to admit this, but I'm actually not family friendly at all when I'm not on YouTube. I make really raunchy jokes that I just can't say on YouTube and like sometimes I put them in a tiny bit. One time when I was at VidCon, I took a picture with a girl and a boy who watched my YouTube videos and then afterwards their grandma came up to me and she was like, thank you so much for being such a good influence on my kids. And after that experience, I was like, you know what? I can't picture those kids and then say the things that I would say in real life. Like I just put my most pure self on the internet because I feel like if I'm gonna have people who watch me, I don't want to influence them badly because my little cousins watch like Logan Paul and they just say things that I'm like I really wish you would not say that and be influenced by that guy. Some people think that just because you have followers it is not your responsibility to act a certain way to be a good influence but I feel like personally it helps me sleep at night to think that I'm only putting like the best part of, of myself if that makes sense but you're kind of right about that. <laughs> you say you're not a hoe and that you dress conservatively but you post pictures on Instagram with your boobs and butt hanging out. I'm pretty sure that constitutes as <laughs> as being at least a little bit of a hoe. Dang, that was freaking poetic. Oh, so I don't know what I said that I'm not a hoe. <laughs> I'm not. I just am saying that I never said that, like, I don't dress that, you know, okay, you get it. You get the point. Oh, that's funny. Never moved to LA. Don't have to worry about that. You're really annoying sometimes. You're really freaking rude to Ryan. Poor guy, OMG, like when he was in trying to be in your Kylie video and you ignored him the whole time and then he was like sad. Ryan! Someone said, so you remember my Kylie Jenner vlog? Uh, wait. Where you're like dancing in the background? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, someone said, you're really freaking rude to Ryan. Poor guy, OMG, like when he was trying to be in your Kylie video and you just ignored him the whole time and then he was sad. <laughs> I wasn't sad. You weren't sad? No. Am I mean to you? No. You hesitated. I thought about it. She's not mean to me. I was dancing in the background knowing that it was like really dark. I thought it, I thought you didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't want you to notice me. That was the whole thing. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I, mean, I contemplated putting that part in because I look like I'm really like annoyed with you. Oh, really? But I was just really focused. Yeah. <laughs> but I put it in anyways because I thought it was kind of funny. No, and I knew you weren't actually. I wasn't sad. Sad, but. She's nice to me. This is why I can't what show kind of being nice to him on camera because I think it's like really gross and sappy. So I like to pretend like I don't have emotions and that I'm rock stone hard, cold inside <laughs> and that I don't have emotions so that I act like I don't even like you. But the truth is I do and I just don't show it on camera. Okay, go away. Ah, oh, my wow, finger. that was so mean, Haley. You swear I a lot off camera. You are a genuine and awkward person. I can definitely agree with the awkward part. <laughs> I'm so quirky. I assume you have a lit life. <laughs> I dislike, but also kind of find it funny when you wax your vagina. Man, some of you guys really just need to figure out your feelings. Assumption, you don't like LA. Assumption, correct. Big correct. Wait, this one's so funny. You seem very spoiled and full of yourself. It sounds cliche, but I think you've sold out way more than any other YouTuber that got big and moved to LA. I don't like your intro music. Oh, that's crazy. I love my intro song so much. <laughs> Some of these are so innocent. You love to try new things. <laughs> so cute. You low key smoke. I got a, a few of these that were like, you smoke, you vape, you secretly like get drunk on the weekends, which is actually not true at all. So no, I'm not actually like a crazy lit teen who just doesn't show it on the internet. I'm actually a 30 year old woman and I genuinely just like to uh, use my planner and bullet journal on the weekends and play cards with my friends. Are you okay with gay people? Can you address it sometime, please? Yes, I'm okay with gay people. What? This one is so interesting. I feel like this is only a thing because I've said that I believe in God. I grew up in the dance world where majority of people are not straight. So I'm completely fine if you are not straight. <laughs> Are you the same in person as you are on camera? I feel like I'm more similar to my vlog channel self than I am to my main channel self. In person, I'm usually, unless I'm hyper, then like I'm like my main channel, but that's more rare. I feel like in person, I actually just talk a lot 
about things that are really nerdy. Okay, this is gonna sound really arrogant, but this kind of also addresses the like education part. I'm actually secretly really nerdy and I like having really deep conversations and I mostly am just talking about something money related because I love business and I love logistics of things like that and I love educating myself on that. We're talking about something life related. I have been talking about politics recently because I've been trying to learn about it. Basically what I'm saying is like, I'm a 30 year old woman off camera and I'm more of a teenager online, <laughs> if that makes any sense. You're not actually a virgin. I got so many of these comments on the video that I made with Ryan where we're baking cookies. So many people were saying that we're just saying that we're waiting till marriage, but we're actually not. Trust me guys, if I wasn't gonna do something, I wouldn't put on this whole front just to like do it for you. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to convince you. That's just kind of awkward. I assume that you are Asian. You're correct. I am half Vietnamese. I don't like that you're probably a human. Oh my gosh, who wrote this one, Ryan? I think you're really productive and just have things well thought out. You seem to sound like you have a pretty basic plan for the future and you are doing what you can to reach those goals. This is what I was talking about, about being a 30 year old woman. I plan out my days by the hour. I have a planner and then I also have a bullet journal. I have multiple video schedules and multiple personal schedules. <laughs> I have deadlines written everywhere, alarms in my phone, and I have a basic 10 to 20 year plan for myself. So to say planned out is an understatement. This is honestly why it's like a little triggering when people are like, don't rely on YouTube. It's not gonna be there forever because whenever I look at my career, I look at YouTube as like exploding in two years and that's how I plan my future. So don't worry about me. I am aware that YouTube is not forever. Okay, this one is like literal tea, but it's at the end of the video. <laughs> you didn't enjoy the dough trip. I enjoyed one. Wait, this one's actually sad. In a video, you discussed OCD in the most offensive way. And since then, I've rarely been watching your videos. It makes me upset that an influencer as big as yourself can share naive information and experiences. I will try to find the clip where I'm talking about me thinking that I have OCD, but it was literally just me in a vlog talking about how recently I've been planning out my days. And if I don't check off everything of that day, it makes me really stressed out. And I genuinely just thought that was like OCD. I didn't know that was offensive. I'm really sorry if that is not the right way to talk about it. I don't know. I was genuinely just like talking about my experience, but I don't know. That you are actually so beautiful, but you act like you're a solid six. I'd say that last part is pretty darn accurate. <laughs> I assume that you are a very nervous person and don't really like big crowds. That is accurate. That is why YouTube conventions freak me the frick out. Okay. These two things that I'm about to read you are right on top of each other. And this is what I'm talking about. You can't please everyone. Let's just take a look. I get you're religious and everything and your channel is a representation of you, but I just hope that your channel doesn't become super religious and focus on that a lot. The next one, right under that. Please don't take this the wrong way. I love you and your content. I know you occasionally talk about how you are a Christian, but I wish you would more. And I would really appreciate how being a Christian factors into the YouTube world. So as you can see, we've got two different crowds right here. Some people want me to talk about it more. Some people wish I didn't talk about it all or way less. This is what I'm talking about. With, you just have to literally be yourself and just accept that you're not gonna please everyone. And that is something I'm learning. And that's why I've said it five times in this video because I'm just honestly telling myself that. But don't worry, I'm not gonna become a religious channel. Oh, I've been sitting on my knees this whole time. I'm actually this short and my knees hurt so bad. Wait, oh my gosh, this one is perfect. I don't like how you've been acting lately. You seem a lot more fake and less real. I also miss how much you used to post on your main channel. Now you barely post. These are actually both true and I'm actually just now figuring out how to not be so fake on camera because I have been not completely myself in past videos. If you watch the video of me and Ryan together where we're baking cookies, that's a pretty much very accurate representation of who I am. So as you can tell, I'm still hyper and everything, but I used to just, oh, it's so cringy. I used to try so hard to like be quirky and relatable and like, oh my gosh, like I hate school when in reality, like I actually like school. And it's like stuff like that where I would just blatantly say the opposite of what I actually felt. So you're correct on that one. I have been more fake and I'm gonna to try to be more myself. It's actually crazy that you can do YouTube for eight years and still feel like it's really difficult to be yourself on camera. I don't know, it's crazy. And also the barely posting thing. I've only been posting like once a week on Fan Friday for like, I don't know how long, two to three months. But I'm finally not traveling. I'm just gonna stay in my little apartment and just grind it out. I'm actually posting this on Wednesday. I'm trying to post three times this week and I'm also going to try to post a minimum of two times per week, if not three, and then at least once a week on my vlog channel, if not two, and more content on my Instagram. So honestly, 
I agree with you, and I'm going to try to get better, and I enjoy the constructive criticism. The only scary part is whenever I talk about how I used to be fake and how I'm trying to, like, be more myself on camera. Sometimes, I mean, not all of it was fake, right? So anytime that I, like, try to make a joke or, like, I'm really hyper, I'm scared that you guys are going to think that I'm being fake again when in reality, like, that is actually just kind of who I am. But anyways, moving on, I'm just going to be myself. I don't enjoy how you put prices that videos cost you or how much money you spent on something. This one is actually so interesting. So videos where you put how much you spent on something in the title tend to get more views. My justification is I'm only gonna spend that amount of money if I can like put it in the title and make a video out of it. So sorry if you don't like it, but that's my reasoning. <laughs> you say that you wanna save money and ish, but then you buy records for your wall and waste money on hauls. I don't know if I should actually respond to these cause I can kind of get cringy like I'm being defensive or something, but with hauls, <laughs> okay, don't take this the wrong way. I see where you're coming from because it looks very hypocritical, but when you have a business, you have to spend money to make money. And in order for me to make a haul, I had to spend money to make money from that video, if that makes sense. I don't like that you haven't done a bullet journal video yet. I will make that on my vlog channel for you, stat. Okay, I think I've been filming for over an hour. So if this video is 20 minutes long, why did you watch to this point? Congratulations, comment down below. What should you comment down below? Secret club. Okay, that's what you're commenting down below, I guess. This video was kind of awkward at the end, honestly, and I kind of talked about things that were controversial, which I was not expecting to do, but every time I just sit and talk, it's my fave, and some of you guys like it too, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, maybe you'll like Fan Friday's video or something, since I'm posting three times a week. Hopefully you like one of them. I don't know. I have a vlog channel too where I'm trying to post more often, and if you like makeup, I am posting like two makeup videos right in a row, so definitely go over there, and if you like bullet journaling as well, I am going to start putting bullet journal videos on there. I also have an Instagram where I'm like, I try to be really Pinteresty and cool and my Twitter is like actual trash. Okay, I'll see you on Fan Friday. Bye, I love you. Okay, um, I feel weird now. I'm just never gonna read comments again. Okay, never mind. I will, but okay, bye.